Welcome to this practice update. I'm your host, Dr. Farzana Hafizullah. <clears throat> Joining me today is Dr. Guru Sanpapde. We're so happy to have you back. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about race and prostate cancer in this segment. We know that you're one of the investigators studying treatment in patients with metastatic prostate cancer stratified by race. In prostate cancer, why is it important to consider race? Well, race seemed important because uh, we've known for a long time that uh, black patients seem to you know, have worse outcomes prognostically, but they might be more sensitive to androgen deprivation therapy and androgen inhibiting agents. So a study here was done to look at this in an innovative manner. So instead of randomizing patients to drug A versus drug B, um, Dan, uh, Dan George from Duke led this randomized phase two trial, which uh, looked at abiraterone plus prednisone in both groups, that is black, randomizing blacks versus white patients. It was around 50 patients per arm, and he was trying to look for an improved response rate, um, improved radiographic progression fee survival, and other secondary endpoints in patients receiving abiraterone. And interestingly, the radiographic progression fee survival was uh, not different. However, the PSA response numerically was better for the black patients. And also the PSA progression fee survival was also better for uh, the black patients. So there seems to be some signal for improved efficacy uh, with abiraterone in black patients compared to white patients. See, mm. what patient outcomes and translational studies are actually being included in this study? Right, there's uh, lots of studies still pending and ongoing yes. where they will look at uh, germline factors, uh, the uh, enzymes that control the androgen pathway mm -hmm. to see if uh, polymorphisms in these enzymes are what are leading to this kind of outcome of uh, perhaps slightly improved sensitivity to abiraterone in black patients compared to white patients. Can you again describe for us the results uh, that are being reported? So results in this study were, it's a randomized phase two study. They looked at radiographic progression fee survival as the primary endpoint. Now that was not different, but there were many secondary endpoints that were uh, in favor of the black patients doing better with abiraterone. And that included the PSA progression fee survival. It also included the PSA response rate. I see. Well, how could this trial shape future investigations in your opinion? I think a lot of work needs to be done um, because we still need to figure out what's driving these outcomes. Uh, it may not just be a simple issue of race, it might be some other pathway, some other enzyme. Um, so all of these need to be teased out. The group is performing a bigger study, a big international registry study where they're enrolling a, thousands of patients to look at this in a big real world data set. So maybe we will have, we will have more um, validation of these results from that study. It's called the Iron Man study and it is ongoing now. When do we expect to see results from that? Uh, it will take a while to collect okay. uh, all those patients. Um, they, I believe they plan to get to around 5,000 patients mm -hmm. and they're going to look at uh, the blood and tumor tissue and look at the outcomes with treatments. So we will have a lot of data coming out of that. Excellent to hear that. Thank you so much. We mm -hmm. appreciate you coming here to Practice Update and sharing this vital information today. Thank you. I'm your host, Dr. Farzana Hafizullah. Please come back again soon.